Hey guys, Steve Browns here, and today I'm going to be covering some uh, neck and shoulder issues. A lot of people have neck and shoulder issues just because of sitting in the car, or working at a desk, hunched over a computer. So a lot of times just that forward head and posture puts a lot of tension on their neck. So it's one of the most common problems I hear from clients. So this video is going to be a multi-part series just showcasing some of the things that you can do in order to alleviate some of those problems. Now the first thing that we're going to cover is actually soft tissue and myofascial release. Now these two things I consider the most important, that's why we're covering these first. If you only have time to do one thing, it's actually going to be with the lacrosse ball. If you don't have one of these, they're super cheap, they're like five bucks on Amazon. Easy to get, and you can take this anywhere with you. I actually put it in the car with me and I use it all the time in the car or if you're traveling. So, first thing that you're gonna do is take this ball and you're actually gonna put it on the meat of your trap, which is right here, okay? So we're not putting it in the pie and you're not gonna go down really well right now. So, putting it right on me and my trap, and I'm going to move back and forth. And what I'm looking for are those spots that really, really hurt. So, there's gonna be a handful in there and it's just gonna be really, really intense, sharp pain and that lets you know that area actually needs some attention. So, once we find that for me, that's right here, right now. You're gonna take your thumb up and you're actually just gonna slowly lift your arm up overhead like this and tap the wall and you'll come back down. You want your arm straight, I'm not trying to do it with it bent all the way straight, you come straight up like that, tap. You'll do each of these about three to four times, okay? So I'm gonna go up like that. After I do that four times, hand's gonna go out, thumb is still up, and I'm actually gonna do a circle, a clockwise circle, it's only gonna be right about here. It's this big, clockwise, just like this, okay? Slow and controlled, and then you'll do the opposite direction four times. Last one, we're going to open up. And you're actually going to bring your arm across your body and you're going to pull it in tight, just like this. This usually is the most intense one. Pull it in really tight, hold for a second, and then open up again. After you do that one spot, you'll move to the next. Like I said, you might have multiple spots. Just try and hit all. Sometimes I'm in a rush, and all I do is this one. And actually just move along different segments to find those different areas where I can just lift up and alleviate really that. What we're doing is we're putting pressure on the area that actually is really, really tight. We're causing the subsequent tissue around it to actually move, which is causing uh, the relief that you're actually gonna get from it. So this is myofascial release, okay? Holding down that segment, moving all the tissue around. So do this both sides, okay? And that's just one variety of different things you can do with this. After that, we actually move on to the foam roller right here. If you have one of these, uh, Really, really versatile tool, a um, little bit more widespread, but not as uh, much of an isolation tool like the lacrosse ball. But with this, you're just gonna roll on your back. And this is just for general back. You're gonna hug yourself, roll up and down. And I'll usually do this anywhere from five to ten times. And then after I do that, I'll actually put my hands back behind my head and I'll focus a little bit more off of my traps because it exposes the muscles a little bit differently than when my arms cross under. And then I'll pull them in tight, same thing, go right here, five to 10 times. And then the last one is a thoracic opener. Usually if you have neck pain, that whole thoracic part of your spine, which is your upper back, is usually really, really tight. So this is a great way just to open that up. You usually have one orientation, which is bending forward. We're gonna try and do the opposite of that. So I'm gonna put this on my upper back. My hips won't be up off the ground like they were when I was full rolling like this, because they're gonna be in place. So from here, I'm gonna cut the top of my head, just like this, elbows in tight. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna just fold back over the foam line, as far as you can. Hold that two seconds, come up, scoot down a little bit, and do it again. And then the last spot, it's gonna be right towards your mid-back where you still have a couple ribs. I don't wanna go lower than that. I don't need to do my lower back. Where there's still some ribs here on the thoracic spine, I'll do the last one. Pull back over that one second. And then come up. So that is the soft tissue work that we uh, wanted to cover. And then next we're gonna be covering stretching. 